What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. My fan time. And I uh, got another, um, you know, uh, getting through the collection video, I guess. Um, yeah, I know uh, I wanted to, to start this during the draft, and obviously that didn't happen. So apologies about that. But finally getting around to starting to show another sport for the, uh, for the collection. Of course, we're moving from baseball to football. And... Um, we're going to start with the authentic or vintage, you know, football jerseys I have in the collection, uh, NFL jerseys. Um, most of what I have for the NFL is, is, is Mitchell and Ness, of course. We'll get to these. <laughs> and I know to the chagrin of, of Snacks, you know, a.k.a. Throwback King, uh, he, you know, he, he, he wanted to see the Phillies jerseys and whatnot. But we're, we're going to get there. We're saving the best for last, okay? Uh, and obviously, I don't have as many of the authentics or the vintage or anything like that for football as I would with Mitchell and Ness. But, you know, I have a nice little collection to this point. I'm wearing the, one of my authentic Eagles jerseys for this bit. Of course, my Donovan McNabb authentic. So, anyhow, let's get into it. And here we go. All right. So, first of all, uh, this is the only... Uh, Southland Athletics jersey I have in the collection. This was the first Bambi jersey I ever owned, of course, since I do have two Mitchell and Ness ones. But this is the Lance Allworth Bambi, the powder blue, of course, one of the most iconic jerseys in the NFL history. Um, um, this is a uh, Southland Athletics, very nice jersey, heavy jersey. Uh, Lance Allworth, of course, one of the great receivers, Hall of Famer. Just about every jersey head is going to have this jersey, <laughs> a Lance Allworth uh, Chargers jersey in the collection in some way, shape, or form. Um, so, and of course, I'm no different. So here it is. Uh, Southland Sports, uh, uh, Southland Athletics rather made these jerseys years ago. Um, I don't know the exact history of the company. I don't know if they were pumping them out around the time of the jersey boom days when Mitchell and Ness was really, you know, putting themselves on the map. But their qual the quality of these jerseys is really, really nice. It's the only one I have. They're hard to get. They're hard to find. And, of course, as the years go on, they're going to get harder to find and harder to get. But this one I got many years ago off eBay um, with the jock tag. Definitely recommend it. If you ever have a shot at a Southland jersey, go ahead and pick it up. Um, very nice. All worth 19 on the back. Super nice. Classic jersey. And... Certainly a really nice one. Well put together. Um, unfortunately, it's the only Southland I have in my collection, but I think I made it count with the one I have. So uh, this one, it has no tags on it. I got this years ago off eBay. It's a Johnny U, Baltimore Colts. You know, still a nice jersey, comfortable jersey. I do have the white version of this with for Mitchell and Ness. You'll see that in a future vid, but... <laughs> This one is no, not tagged at all. There's there's no tags on this one, so I guess it's just a generic one, but cool nonetheless. With the you know uh, another classic jersey from a time gone by. Shout out to Murph. This next one I got in a trade with him years ago. I don't really do a lot of trades or anything like that, but I had a jersey that was just too small of me didn't didn't fit me, so worked a trade for him for this one. This is a uh, uh, Leonard Little. A vintage uh, Ripon, uh, Laren Little, um, Denver Broncos. Everything, of course, is pressed on as it should. Great running back from back in the day. And there's his Broncos Orange Crush jersey. So, again, shout out to Murph. Uh, this next one's actually, these next two actually represent two of my first favorite players in the NFL. Non-Eagles. <laughs> first favorite non-Eagles in the NFL. And we got Barry Sanders, of course, one of the all-time greats, his position. Uh, this is a uh, authentic Russell from back in the day, NFL Shield. Everything's pressed on as it should be to the jersey. Another pretty iconic jersey in the history of the NFL and for jersey heads. Just about all of us have a berry in the collection in some way, shape, or form. Got the stripes, of course, the 20s, everything again pressed onto this jersey. Sanders 20 on the back, again pressed on as it should. You see the Russell logo on the sleeve. Very nice, very clean jersey. Uh, 
trying to put these back here. Uh, and this was actually the very first Jerry Rice jersey I ever owned. And he was one of my first favorites too. Of course, the goat of wide receivers, Jerry Rice, classic 49ers. This is actually a replica, but this thing is really nice. Wilson still fits me. Got this many years ago for Christmas back in the day. This is probably one of the first football jerseys I owned outside of uh, um, an Eagles jersey. So I got this one for Christmas years ago. Rice 80 on the back. Shout out to Rez and all the other Niner fans out there. Quite a few Jerry Rice jerseys in the collection. All the other ones I have are Mitchell and Ness, but this is the old vintage replica that I got many years ago. And they were still wearing these jerseys. It was before the turnover to when they wore the, uh, the drop shadow. Before they won that Super Bowl in 94. Now this next jersey, so so these jerseys, the 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 point, the, the purpose for these was really more for autographs, you know, to get to get autographs by the players if you go to shows and whatnot. So they, they you know, these jerseys are pretty cheap. You can find these on eBay cheap. They're not they're not like fakes or anything because they you know they're not trying to be like Mitchell and Ness or anything. Uh, but you can get these pretty cheap. This is the only one of these that I have. I do want the Mitchell and Ness version of this badly. Uh, I want a Jack Young Blood Mitchell Ness because it has the press numbers and everything. But I did pick this up some years ago, and it's stitched. You know, it's not, you know, it's not Mitchell Ness or anything. It doesn't have a Mitchell Ness tag. But again, the purpose of these jerseys was more for autographs and such. But um, I picked it up anyhow just because I wanted a Jack Young Blood in the collection, and uh, it's still a nice jersey. You know, it gets the job done. It's just not, you know, historically accurate because it's supposed to be pressed on and everything. But you know. It's a nice jersey, uh, not bad, and I do love the big, just that full name on the back of the jersey, you know, Youngblood, Jack Youngblood, but I do want the Mitchell Ness version, hopefully I can get that at some point, because that's one of the, the the last of the holdouts for the Rams, you know, jerseys I want for Mitchell Ness, so, you know, hopefully I can grab that one at some point. Um, so there's two more Rams here too, and, and these two are actually authentics. These are, um, you know, these are not the, you know, generic guys. These are, these are authentics. Um, I'll pull them both uh, here so I can show you now. When I first started collecting many years ago, um, one of my goals as far as football was to get as many of the all-time great running backs as I could, because that was one of my first favorite positions, you know, see Barry Sanders, right? So... Um, so I wanted to try to get as many of the greats as I could. And, and, you know, many years later, you know, I'm happy to say I, I've been able to get many of them, not all of them, <laughs> but many of them. So this first one here, th these next two actually represent that. So we got the Jerome Bettis. This is the, uh, this is the authentic, um, uh, Russell athletic Jerome Bettis Rams. But of course, from the time just before they went the you know, move to St. Louis. So this would be a Los Angeles Rams Bettis. Shout out to my buddy Big Slim who has the, uh, the basically the same jersey with the inaugural season of the St. Louis Rams on there. Um, but I'm just going to keep this as is because it just represents him as a Los Angeles Ram. Um, and yeah. And this guy, this was actually found many years ago at a flea market. So it just goes to show, sometimes, you know, Jersey has, we, we look everywhere. We scour the earth to, <laughs> to find things because you never know where that next pickup's going to come from. And uh, this is a vintage, um, vintage Russell, just like the, just like the, uh, the Bettis, although this one is for Eric Dickerson. And it's not exactly historically accurate because it has the NFL shield on the front and, and he didn't have the shield when, when, when he played as a Ram, but it is what it is. Um, someone told me many years ago to get that taken off, but I'm just going to keep it on there. It adds to the jersey, whatever. But it's got the, the pressed on, as you can see. Everything else is pressed. The numbers, the ram horns. Of course, the numbers are, you know, on the sleeves around the ram horns are pressed as they should be. And you got the Dickerson 29 pressed onto the back, too. Very nice, very clean jersey. A Russell. Um, just... You know, just such a random find. It was at a flea market, believe it or not. I remember my, my buddy Mark M picked up a Nike, an authentic Nike Tim Brown Raiders jersey at the same, from the same seller. So 
we both got something nice that day. So, <laughs> shout out to Mark M. Bear with me here as I put these back. I know I'm kind of particular about my jerseys, but you know. <laughs> what com comes off the rack has to go back onto the rack. Um, and we're going to keep going here. Speaking of running backs from back in the day, here's Mr. For Who For What. Ricky Waters, of course, he spent some time here in Philly. Won a Super Bowl with the 49ers, of course, was a Niner. Came up a Niner, then came to Philly, then went to Seattle, where he finished his career. This is an authentic uh, logo athletic Seahawks Ricky Waters jersey. Very nice jersey. Um, stitched 32. The numbers are stitched on, but the logo, of course, on the sleeve is pressed on as it should be um, from that time period. Of course, you got the older, bigger logo there on the sleeves. Puma, of course. Got this from a fellow collector years ago. Then Waters 32 on the back, everything stitched. And this is yet another example of what we'll do in the Jersey Head community. If the jersey is very hard to attain or just wasn't made or whatever the, the oops, whatever the, uh, the case may be, we will find a way. Oh, yeah. See, these live feeds, you never know, right? <laughs> we will find a way to get the jersey done. So uh, this next jersey here is an example of that. If I can get uh, Mr. Waters back on the rack. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna get this next one out. So this was a Sean Springs jersey. I, I got this on eBay as a Sean Springs, authentic Sean Springs. Shout out to Patsy Elmer, big time jerseys. I sent it out to her. This is you know a couple years ago, and I had it turned into Marshawn Lynch, but not just any Marshawn Lynch, the Beast Quake Marshawn Lynch. This is the jersey style that he wore when he had that 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 iconic. Beast Quake run in the wild card round against the Saints those many years ago. And this was the style Seahawk jersey that they wore, the color, the style, everything. So just had the nameplate taken off for for um, Springs, and Lynch was put onto the back. So there it is. Professionally done by big time jerseys. So yes, and I got my Skittle socks and I got my Seahawk hat from this era that goes with this jersey. So yeah, I, I, I definitely have the the combo, you know, for this particular jersey, as I try to for all the jerseys I have. But sometimes it's easier for other some than it is for others. But but yes, the Marshawn Lynch, Beast Quake Authentic Seahawks jersey. This one. Uh, I mean, I, I couldn't believe when I saw this. This was a. This was this was picked up off Poshmark some time ago, and I remember M Diddy, um, when when he was making his videos on YouTube years ago, he had you he you could see this. You know, on a on a on a rack, you could see or a closet or whatever it was at that time. You could see what this was, you know. You could see the numbers. You could see the side with the patch. And I just always, always remember seeing it in his video. And I was just, I was like, man, if I ever get a shot at that jersey, I want that jersey. Um, so as luck may have it, many years later, it was on Poshmark. And I was so glad to get it. So we got the Eddie George. This is a vintage Tennessee Oilers Eddie George. It's not their inaugural season in Tennessee. It's their next season. So it would be, the, what, the 98. This represents the 98 season. There's the patch. Okay, so you notice the Tennessee Oilers. So their inaugural season, it did have the inaugural season or whatever it, you know, it would have. It was the same exact patch. It just had, you know, inaugural year or whatever it was for 97, I believe it would have been. And, of course, this is the next year, so this is 98. And then they switched over. They rebranded that following season, I believe, as to the Tennessee Titans, which they are today. But at that point, they were the Tennessee Oilers. And, of course, Eddie came up with the Houston Oilers. And then moved over to Tennessee with the team, of course. Uh, so this is his, his um, the white Tennessee Oilers jersey. Love it. Can't believe when I saw this. This is just this was just 
my, my eyes almost like bulge out of my head because I was just, oh my God, you know, <laughs> I knew what it was right away, um, but I had to have it and I'm glad I was able to get it. NFL Shield, again, you got that logo, shout out to Snacks, aka, you know, Throwback King. I know he's a big Eddie George guy. I know he really likes his jersey, so there you go. Um, 27, of course, double stitched. You got the yoke sleeves. You got the, I mean, everything just pops on this jersey. Um, you know, you got the, the you know, the, the, the trim, of course, uh, on the, uh, the, the sleeves. This is a logo athletic, vintage, authentic. George 27 on the back. They said this thing pops. Beautiful jersey. Beautiful. Um, this is the type of thing that, you know, you know, if we come across this, something like this, it's it's definitely something that we definitely that that us Jersey heads definitely go after, um, and and like I said, the little seed was planted in my brain as many years when Mac had it in his collection, and I'm like, boy, if I ever get a chance, <laughs> it was many years later, but I got a chance at it and I grabbed it. I did not let this bad boy get away from me. Up next, um, rest in peace, of course, Steve Air McNair. This is his Tennessee Titans jersey. This would be the alternate, you know, light blue. Uh, this is a Reebok, of course, NFL equipment days. Uh, jock tag. McNair 9 on the back. I do have the uh, Mitchell Ness McNair jersey they made for the Oilers. Tennessee Oilers. You'll see that when I show the Mitchell Ness collection. All right, up next we got vintage Junior Seau, San Diego Chargers. The navy blue jersey. Pressed on everything as it should be with the lightning bolts, of course, as well. Uh, this is a Russell Athletic vintage. Jock tag. Very nice jersey right there. All right, so this is more of like the swing man, but it's the uh, powder blue Ladanian Tomlinson Chargers. Bolts there. Gotta love the bolts. Charger jerseys. I, I love the fact that the Chargers are wearing something similar to this. Now they're wearing like their jerseys that they just, you know, um, you know, um, unveiled, you know, not long ago is like the, the old Charger jerseys. We're talking the old ones, like the, you know, Lance Allworth days Charger jerseys that this one, you know, that they, that they wore as a throwback, you know, so I was glad to see that. Definitely, definitely going to have to grab some of those at some point. Jock tag. And I know Mitchell and Ness made this one. This next one I'm going to show, but this is the actual uh, equipment, NFL equipment um, Reebok jersey. Of course, representing the MVP season for LaDainian Tomlinson. There's early years, right? You, you, you know, I, I should say too, with the Chargers. This is an authentic. And Mitchell Ness made the same exact jersey, but I got this one around that same time, so I didn't need to get the Mitchell Ness version because I got the authentic. It's the NFL equipment shield on the front. Got the jock right there. 21 is triple stitched. You got the bolts there, triple stitched as well. This is just a beautiful jersey. And I think Mitchell Ness did a really nice job with their version of it too. I, I've seen it in person in the store. It's a fine jersey. But again, I had a chance at the authentic. You know, Reebok one, so I grabbed that one. Around the same time Mitchell Ness put out theirs, so Tomlinson 21 on the back. And again, this would have been representing the, uh, like his MVP season um, style Charger jersey. That's why they, I, it's probably why Mitchell Ness made the one they did. At first, then they did the powder blue throwback, which I have back in the Charger uh, collection here. But um, the navy blue one I did not need. <laughs>
And then of course, same deal here. This is the road version. The white Chargers. Authentic Reebok from back in the day. NFL equipment shield on the front. Tomlinson 21, of course, on the back. Everything triple stitched as it should be. Bolts, I mean, they just really, I mean, they always pop on the Charger jerseys. Great, great design. All right, we're moving along to the next team. And that would be the Nolan Saints. This is a vintage uh, authentic Jim Everett. Just keep him away from those uh, reporters, but there, <laughs> there he is. Uh, the Saints jersey, NFL shield. This is a vintage Russell. I do have his Mitchell Ness one that they made years ago with the throwback with the 75th. Annie patch, you got the old St. Logo, State of Louisiana patch on the, or uh, logo on the side, on the sleeves rather. Always like these old Saints jerseys, they definitely pop. I mean, they're, you know, from the old Dome, Dome Patrol days of Sam Mills and company. Speaking of Dome Patrol. There's one of those members of the Dome Patrol. Well, Mitchell Ness made his jersey, but they did not make this one. They did not make the, the this particular season which it would have been nice if they did but i got the vintage authentic ricky jackson hall of famer great linebacker <coughs> excuse me part of the dome dome patrol back in the day pat swilling and, and sam mills teammates from the saints 25th anniversary so it's from the 91 season and the only authentic that mitchell ness ever made in this particular one was morton anderson yeah, they went with the kicker. <laughs> and they made the white version in Sam Mills, which I have. But they I, I don't know why they never made Sam Mills in this in the black jersey or Ricky Jackson. They made them, but not from the same season. So it doesn't have that nice patch on it. And you know me. I love them patches. So this is a uh, vintage, uh, vintage starter. Ricky Jackson. Beautiful jersey. I, I just... You know, this was one of those eBay pickups some years ago. And it's like, oh my goodness. When I saw it, I, I knew it had to be in the collection. <laughs> and this next one, my buddy Big Slim helped me get this. <laughs> uh, this definitely, look, it, it, it's an oddball, but, you know, it's one of those jerseys that I just wanted because they didn't wear it very long. It was an alternate jersey, but it, 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 it think, pops. It's the gold Saints jersey that they wore as an alternate for, for a brief time. And this is a, uh, Aaron Brooks. This is a uh, authentic, uh, you know, equipment re, uh, Reebok jersey. But just that gold. <laughs> just something about it. You know, I, 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 I knew. I, I just wanted one. I, you know, the player didn't matter that much to me. I just wanted one <laughs> that had the, uh, you know, in the gold. And Aaron Brooks. Same draft class as Donovan. These guys are drafted the same year. Didn't quite have the career Donovan had, but, you know, he had some decent years with the Saints. I have, uh, I have every single Dan Marino jersey that Mitchell Ness has ever made, at least one for each style. So I do have one authentic as well. This is a starter. Uh, the white Dolphins jersey, Marino, I think pops. Uh, I don't believe Mitchell Ness has ever made one of, from this era. So I got myself an authentic starter. It, this is just really nice. I love the uh, yoke sleeves on these. Big Dolphin logo on the side. You got that drop shadow that just sets it all off too. And of course, Dan the Man. Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. Starter, jock tag, beautiful jersey. Lots going on. It's, it's, it's a busy jersey. <laughs> There's a lot going on on it. Now, if I had to have taken my choice of players, I would have wanted a Ricky Williams. But beggars can't be choosers. I just wanted one with a patch. So I got this, you know, years ago off eBay. It's a Ronnie Brown. 
didn't do too well with the Eagles, but he had some decent. Mr. Wildcat, right? That's what he'll always be remembered for. But it has the Dolphins' 40th anniversary on there. And I, I want to get a Ricky Williams in this someday, but, um, you know, as it stands right now, I got Ronnie. And, you know, it's still a nice jersey. I, I just love the old Dolphin jerseys. Just, you know, again, so much going on in them. They're just, you know, definitely nice. This is a Reebok, you know, Reebok from the equipment era. Yep, Mr. Wildcat's in the fold. <laughs> in the Mighty Kingdom. So, Patriots Bear, be careful. <laughs> Shout out to Jake. I know he's going to appreciate these. Now we're getting into the Minnesota Vikings. Shout out to my buddy Big Slim who hooked me up with this one as a gift. Um, Randall Cunningham, the, uh, the Puma. Minnesota Vikings authentic. Of course, Randall, hey, you know, was a great eagle, but of course had some some really, you know, fine years in Minnesota as well. Should have gotten to the Super Bowl in 98. I know it's a sore subject for Viking fans. As an eagle fan, I, I, I know the pain, believe me. But, uh, you know, um, super nice of my buddy Big Slim to, to hook me up with this. I, I did not know he got this for me, but... He got himself some authentic Randall Cunningham's in his collection for the Vikings, and he, he wanted me to have one too. So thanks again, Slim. Really appreciate this one. Um, again, you got the Puma jock tag, beautiful jersey, and, you know, definitely, definitely a heater. Vikings have always had nice jerseys too. I, my favorites are this era because I just think they just pop, you know, with the logo and everything, the big numbers. And I'm going to hit you here with the rookie Randy. Rookie year Randy Moss, starter. When he burst onto the scene, scoring those touchdowns against Dallas and on Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'll never forget that. And all those great games he had. One of the great shames in NFL history is that team couldn't go to a Super Bowl. It really, it would have been so much better a Super Bowl if it would have been the Vikings and Broncos and those Dirty Birds and the Broncos. It was a blowout. But Randy definitely had some great years. Hall of Famer. And this is his rookie. You know his rookie because it's a starter. That's, that's, that was his rookie year. Vikings were wearing starter. So I got the, the purple home Randy Moss. Some time back. Then I got an authentic Puma, white, Randy Moss. And and the white Viking jerseys from this era, I, I, I love these because the stripes on these jerseys are just insane. They pop. Everything on this jersey pops. Definitely. So, Jake, yep. <laughs> yeah, I know you appreciate these. Your team definitely knew how to put together some jerseys, and I always love those white Viking jerseys just because of those stripes on there. They just really pop with the logo. I mean, that, it's just hard to beat that. And like I said, this is an old uh, Puma Authentic. And I know Jake has a ton of Viking heat in his collection. I don't have as many as he does, <laughs> but I got a few heaters. I got a few heaters in here. Oh. And last and not least for the Vikings, speaking of heaters, this is definitely one of them. John Randall, Hall of Famer with the anniversary patch right there. I know Mitchell Ness made the Randy Moss, which I have, and the Chris Carter, the purple one. And so I got the 40th for John Randall, but this is an authentic. This is a uh, this is an authentic um, Puma. So this is a vintage from when the Vikings had that jersey and celebrated it that anniversary of the 40th with the war paint on you always remember john randall there it is his authentic white away jersey one of the great trash talkers in the uh, history of the nfl <laughs> I remember 
I got this many years ago at Old Value City for 30 bucks when they were blowing out starter stuff. They didn't have a lot of authentics. So this is the only one I got. I probably should have got a couple more, but most of what I got were the replicas, you know, back then. But I did pick up this one, the authentic Curtis Martin, New York Jets. And at the time, he was still there. He was still playing. And I got this for 30 bucks. I'll never forget that. Starter authentic. He said... Value City bought them out when they were blowing, and they blew out the starter stuff back in the day. So I got the Martin. It's the only authentic. I should have got more of them. <laughs> they didn't have too many authentics back then, but, you know, I was, you know, when you're young and dumb, you know. <laughs> what do you know? But I grabbed this one at least. I, I got something out of it, authentic-wise. Most of what I got, like I said back then, were the replica, you know, ones. But it is what it is. This is a hard one to get. I was glad to have gotten this one from a fellow collector. I got the Curtis Martin New England Patriots. Authentic starter. Beautiful jersey. Uh, I do hope the Patriots, I, I know there's like been some talk that they might wear these again, like as a, as a throwback. I, I hope they do. Because these are just, you know, I mean, they called them the Elvis head, basically the logo on, this, on the shoulders for the Patriot logo, but... I know Brady never wore this jersey, but boy, <laughs> if he, if, if he would have worn this jersey in like a Super Bowl with like a Super Bowl patch on this, oh, my goodness, because when the Patriots uh, played in that Super Bowl against the Packers, there was no Super Bowl logo that year on the, on the jersey, so they, it was just the white version of this, you imagine though, <laughs> if there was a patch on that bad boy, oh my, Super Bowl patch. Even though it was a losing at one one of the few Super Bowls of the Patriots <laughs> lost before they just became a dynasty years later. But I mean this is a must. This is an absolute must in anyone's collection, the old Patriot jersey. Um and, and like I said, it's just there's it's busy. There's so much going on it, but definitely a, a head turner and a and a heater for sure. And I do hope they wear them as a throwback. I really do. Here's another number 28, and the guy who went to the Patriots later in his career. This is Corey Dillon, his Bengals jersey. This is the away version. Uh, Reebok, NFL equipment years, right there. Love this design, though. Uh, similar to, like, the Vikings, you know, because it does have the stripes going down. Of course, the Bengal, you know, the, the, the tiger stripes was just awesome. And then you had the full tiger on the on the sleeve awesome awesome kind of wish they would go back to these to this design because it really worked at that for you know during those years just a great look and i love the i love the white jersey because everything everything just pops on it you know it's getting tr more difficult to put these back on the rack <laughs> Apologies about that, but, and then I have the, I have the black version, of course, for Corey Dillon, Bengals, same deal, though this one is a, uh, this is a, another equipment bad boy right here, Reebok, I believe this is older, though. I think this is the older of the two, this is the older equipment, and the, uh, well, maybe it's the newer one, maybe it is the newer one. Anyhow, same deal as the, as, as the white. It's It's got the, the Bengal stripes, the tiger stripes, and the full leaping Bengal there, or running Bengal. <laughs> Fierce Bengal. Really like that. Dylan 28 on the back, big and bold.
And I, you know, I did pick up his Patriots jersey. I got this pretty cheap. This was a Poshmark pickup. I got his Patriots. Reebok uh, equipment again. Patriot logo. So this would be from the Super Bowl years. Dylan 28. Uh, this next one, I have, I have a plan uh, because Mitchell and Ness made it, but they kind of screwed up. They screwed up the uh, the logo, the Super Bowl logo, where it's orange. They they made it red for whatever reason. So I got myself an authentic Peyton Manning uh, Reebok with the uh, equipment ears, and I'm going to turn this into the Super Bowl. I'm going to turn this into the – I got the Super Bowl logo. I got the patch for it. Just have to have it sewn on. The actual – the the the, the – the, the right, the correct patch. <laughs> so I'm going to have it sewn on here when they won the Super Bowl against the Bears. You know, his first Super Bowl win. Masha, Masha, Masha. This is uh, authentic Colts jersey right here. As Boomer used to say back in the day, Masha, Masha, Masha. This is a pro line. Wilson. Early years with the Colts. Came up with the Colts, of course, rookie. And then, of course, had himself a Hall of Fame career. Won a Super Bowl with the Rams. MVP with the Rams. I do have his uh, Super Bowl jersey, Mitchell Ness made, the Rams, and I also have an authentic Rams. This is a Puma, Marshall Falk. With more of the uh, the block letter style to the, to the numbers that they wore briefly. Marshall Falk. Rams logo. If I can open it up. <laughs> there it is. Puma. So this is St. Louis Rams authentic Marshall Falk. Early when they turned over to this particular style. It also has the uh, the the, uh, the trim going down the side, which they got rid of after after that time, which sucked because they should have just kept the trim on the side. Oh well. All due respect to my buddy Big Slim, I know he's not a fan of this team, but we got the Baltimore Ravens right here. This is the Jamal Lewis. It has the patch, the uh, 2005, the uh, the 10th anniversary patch right there. This is the black alternate. J. Lewis on the back. It's the Reebok equipment. Shield Days jersey. There it is, the black. All Jamal Lewis. Baltimore Ravens and this next one again shout out to Big Slim he gifted me this one it was a Christmas gift a couple years ago and I, I just I mean I, I had no idea he was doing it he got it done up with the patch he got the authentic and he had the patch put on uh, this is a Deion Sanders Baltimore Ravens same season so it's got the 10th anti patch it's the purple uh, version of this so like the home version again NFL equipment shield 37 which I believe he wore because that was how, how old he was when he went to the to the to the Ravens prime time right there Sanders 37 again shout out to my buddy Big Slim I love this jersey you know the patch and everything and obviously it is hard to get an authentic Deion Sanders Ravens jersey, so definitely appreciate that, fam. Thank you very much. Yet again, for this. All right. 
love him or hate him. Now we're going to delve into the Mike Vick jerseys. They got his Falcons. This is his rookie jersey. Um, so when Mike Vick was drafted by the Atlanta Falcons, this is a helmet tag Reebok. His first game appearance, he wore it was on the road, and they wore this jersey, the white jersey. So this basically is his rookie jersey, basically. Authentic of his rookie jersey. Uh, seven, of course. Falcon logo, the Reebok. This is a helmet tag. I don't have a lot of helmet tags in the collection. This is one of the very few ones that I have. Um, and I, I guess I was just fortunate enough. I got this one and the black, which was would have been his the next season in his career. I got the Authentics, and he's around the time the Falcons went to the Super Bowl and, and lost to the Patriots, but that's when I got these. And it's hard to get this one. This is this is a this is a tough one to find. Uh, at least I feel so. Uh, again, this is the rookie. This is this is the rookie jersey for Vic. You can also see the 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 shield. It's not equipment. It's not an NFL equipment logo shield. And that was the year when he was a rookie. Uh, they wore this one. And like I said, he when he came in his his first ever NFL game appear, uh, uh, you know, play. It was in the white jersey. So this is basically his rookie jersey. You know, I don't want to offend anyone. You know, I know, you know, there's some feelings and whatnot about Vic or whatever, but, you know, I liked him growing up. Um, of course, his years with the Eagles. He had some good years with the Eagles and everything. And, you know, he did pay his dues for what he did. It was a horrible thing. What he did, he's, he said that many times. But, um, you know, he did go through the system for it. And I know, again, I don't want to step on any toes. That's not what I'm trying to do here. But it is part of the collection. It is a player that I liked, you know, growing up. So, um, and this, I basically call this the bad boys jersey because you do see Martin Lawrence wearing a black Mike Vick in bad boys too he's wearing a replica one this is the authentic um, this is from the NFL equipment so this would have been his the next season uh, so this is when he would have become a starter full time with the Falcons Vick 7 the old Falcon logos of course Jock tag. And then the rest of these I actually got from a collector uh, who had a lot of Mike Vick jerseys in his collection. Um, Authentics. This one actually has good memories for me as an Eagles fan because they <laughs> ordered this when they lost the NFC title game in Philly. But this is the white Falcons. Mike Vick jersey. I, I do want to get the red one someday. It's the only one I don't have of this set. NFL equipment. Hot jersey though. I like the uh, I like the overall look of this one. And this is the the home version from that style, authentic Reebok. Like I say, I still have to get the red one, and the red one pops, you know. So I, I want to get the red somewhere. I, I, I in, <laughs> somewhere tucked away, I do have like the, the replica version of the red one, but you know, I would like to get an authentic someday just to complete the set. And I don't have too many Pro Bowls in my collection. It's just not really something I go after too much, but this 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 guy had a bunch of these Pro Bowl Vicks, so I had to you know I had to grab them. So there's the first one with that. Just the gradient from white to blue is just crazy, crazy. Uh, and this would have been a uh, 2002 Pro Bowl. So you got the Falcons. Uh, you got the seven All Star. Really like this one. Definitely a hot jersey. And we have the 2003. Again, for Mr. Vic. All star. And the stars, you know, you can, they're, they're they got that shine to them. It's just, there's a lot going on in this jersey. You really have to see it under the light to make it out a little more. But you got the NFC logo, you got the Pro Bowl logo, Vic 7, Falcons logos, of course, on the, on the shoulders. And 
And I got one more, one more Pro Bowl. Uh, this would have been the O, yeah, O five. Stars down the side. Vic seven, and it's got the Pro Bowl logo on the back under the number. Falcons on the front. And it's got the logo again on the on the front. And it's got kind of the newer Falcon logo with the sleeves. Yeah, it's a pretty nice set. I, I don't I don't usually go after Pro Bowls, but you know, I just for whatever reason I just wanted a set of those. And we got vintage Falcons prime time right here, Deion Sanders. Got this from a collector years ago. This is an authentic prime. I know Mitchell Ness made like the legacy line of this. But as you can see, it's pressed on the numbers. It's an old champion. NFL shield on the front. Falcon logos. Real nice. Nice, nice piece in my Dion collection. Work done. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Authentic. This is an Adidas jersey. Bucks wore Adidas back then. Like teams wore different different uh, brands, and and the Bucks wore Adidas. So this would have been from that time. I like the pie. I always like. I always like the pirate chip. I, I'm glad they kind of went back to these as their you know regular jerseys now. Done 28. Beautiful jersey. Really like that one. Pops. It's a, it's a uh, again, it's a, this is an Adidas, but it's a pro line right there, so you got the jock tag. I would imagine you'll be seeing some more Buccaneers jerseys uh, floating around this year from people, of course, with Mr. Brady going there. Um, and this is a, I guess this would be like the swing man. My buddy Big Slim remembers this one. <laughs> I got it when he was here. We went to the mall, went back to the King of Prussia Mall to get this one. Uh, so I found out it was on sale. Luke Keekley. Again, this would be the uh, this would be the uh, like the swimland version, but still, hey, nice jersey. Keep pounding on the inside. Now retired Luke Keekley. All right, now I guess I'll go with one more here, just because <laughs> you know why not, right? That that crazy lime green Seahawks. Again, this would have been like the swimland. A line of it. I do have a, a Richard Sherman authentic in this, but he did, he didn't play, <laughs> and they were wearing this. But I did pick this one up. This is again like a swingman, but T.J. Hushmanzada, who was on the team when they wore this crazy lime green jersey. But it's an eyesore, but you know it's it's gaudy, and that's for a collector. That that's one of the things we look for. I got some other stuff, but it's all in the back, and they're not authentics. This, these are all the authentics. You know, I have a couple of replica Super Bowl jerseys and various different things, but this is really what I wanted to share in this video. So, yeah, Woo. there's more than I remembered there was. I uh, hope you all enjoyed uh, part one. Part two will be focusing back at Mitchell and Ness. I'll go over this. Wonderful Z bottom rack, and then there's another Z bottom rack behind it that I'll go over in part three for NFL. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed about 50 minutes of NFL NFL joy. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. As always, you stay safe out there, everyone. This is Mighty Fan saying peace, and I will see you in that next episode of uh, you know going going through the collection. <laughs>